have a lot of dresses. Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing a wardrobe tour. I've wanted to do one for a long time, but I've always felt like my wardrobe was never complete enough or I wasn't totally satisfied with it to make a video about it, but I realized that uh, wardrobes are they're constantly changing and growing and I just figured I should just make a tour post of my Lolita dresses this year and if I make one next year, it will be cool to see how much it will change or develop so yeah I am finally doing it <laughs> this video was also gonna be me trying to organize my dresses because there is no organization here they're just on hangers on Instagram I asked how you guys organize your Lolita wardrobes and surprisingly most of you answered with color, organizing by color. And then some of you answered by um, brand or how much you love the dress, so like least to most favorite. <laughs> um, and a few of you also said you organize it by length. So I think I'm gonna do the length organization because there is a lot of variation <laughs> of length. So. I think that'll look the best. This collection has been a long going process since 2018 when I first started collecting Lolita fashion dresses. I have bought and resold quite a few dresses and I think I'm gonna find a few dresses in here that I'm gonna sell. I'll have a link to my Depop down below in the description of the video so you can go and buy the dress if you want it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention, I just bought a new iPhone. So I'm hoping that my video and audio quality are much better from here going forward. Bear with me, I'm still experimenting and figuring it out, but yeah, I hope this video's quality is much better than my previous ones. All right, so I am going to just pull dresses from here to here and try to organize them as I go along. All right, um, let's start with right here. These are all of my non-Lolita dresses here. Some of them are vintage, some of them are cottagecore or just like historical inspired or whatnot. I'm going to start here with my Emily Temple Cute dresses. I know Emily Temple Cute is like borderline Lolita. They're more Otome key style, um, but I still, I put them between <laughs> Lolita and regular dresses because they're kind of in between. So this is, oh no, I'm gonna have to remember the names of all of these dresses and the brands. I think I could do the brands better than the names, but oh boy, yeah. I think I'm gonna put the names on the screen because <laughs> I will not be able to remember them. This one, I think I remember is Petit Meow because <laughs> of the little kitties. Isn't it precious? The little kittens and the daisies. When I saw this dress on Emily Temple Cute's Instagram for the first time, loved it and I needed it so I bought it and at the same time that I was about to buy this they came out with this dress it's kind of hard to show it off when I'm wearing it but see all the bunnies there's like tea cans and teacups it's just so lovely and I love the colors and the theme so so much and I have one more Emily Temple cute dress this one is Cats in Bonnets, I think, is what it's called. Because of the cat wearing the bonnet. <laughs> I just thought it was also precious. So 
So I'm not gonna organize my Emily Temple cute dresses by length because I like to keep them together. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, this is a Taobao dress. I'll put the brand and name of it in the, in the screen. Um, I have not worn this one yet. I've had it for almost a year, I think. <laughs> um, I have not worn it yet because it is too small for me. And I have been planning to do a alteration video for this dress, um, expanding the back so that it can fit around me because it's so tight right now. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just haven't made that video yet. And I haven't, so I haven't worn this dress yet, but <laughs> it'll happen eventually. All right, next dress is this one. This is also from a Chinese Taobao brand from Fairies Daffodil. I love it. This dress is actually quite heavy, but I feel like it's really good quality and it's just so pretty. And I love the colors and the embroidered details. It's so beautiful. This one, I love this one. So, so much. It's so gorgeous and it's very lightweight and flowy and it's soft and the quality is wonderful. It's just so beautiful. I love it. Uh, I don't have much more to say about it besides it's beautiful and I love it. <laughs> this dress I think is the shortest dress that I own. It is from, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name. It's from that one, Le Flecon. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced it right. Yeah, I need to wear like an underskirt that is like longer than this because it's so short on me. I'm 5'8"-ish, so it's very, very above my knees, which, I prefer longer dresses in general, so this is a little bit un uncomfortably short, but I make it work. I'll put it way on this side. It's gonna stay there. <laughs> okay. This is two dresses in one. It's from this Chinese brand, Nya Nya. Um, these both came from the same release, and they are like a set but I love wearing this white underdress by itself a lot of the times or under other dresses. If you can see it. It's very simple and it's really comfortable. It's just great, a good staple. And I love this apple print. Reminds me of an apple orchard. This is a very, very cottage core not cottagecore, country, well, I guess it is cottagecore, but country Lolita style. It's very flowy and layered and there's just a lot of fabric here. <laughs> it's cozy and this is a really good piece for the fall. Okay, next up. Sorry, I have like blouses and cardigans and stuff stored away with these dresses because of hangers. <laughs> you know how it is. Um, this one, I cannot recall the name. I think it's Miss Point. That's also a Chinese brand. I have a lot of Chinese brand dresses. Chinese brands have been pretty good lately, so it's gorgeous. It's purple and lacy, but honestly, it makes me sad to say this, but I don't see myself wearing this ever. Like, I bought this dress for the accessories that came with it in the set, <laughs> TBH. <laughs> so I don't know, I've been debating whether to let this one go or just keep it and see whether or not I'll wear it eventually. I think I'll keep it for a little while longer, and if I don't wear it this spring or summer, then I think I will get rid of it. Um, but it'll live in my wardrobe until then. 
All right, next up is this one. This is yet another Chinese brand. Um, I've had this one for quite a while, for a few years. I love this dress because the sleeves are detachable, so you can wear it as a JSK or a one piece. And I just think this is just such a lovely dress. I love the chiffon layer over the lace. It's just so, so pretty. All right, this is not a dress. It's just two like over dresses slash aprons on the same hanger. So let's do this one first. This is from Victorian Maiden. It's just a apron. It's a very nice apron, great quality and very country Lolita. <laughs> this one ooh, is from a Chinese brand. Again, it's just a really good overlay staple piece. Alrighty. This is the first of my Innocent World brand dresses. So this is one of my first Lolita dresses that I collected. I think I unboxed this in my first YouTube video. And if I remember right, I think I got it for like $25 on, what was it, Rakuten, Japan? That was like the best deal ever, the best find. And this dress is in really good shape and it's pretty old, so. I feel like older things like this are a lot more rare. And oh uh, yeah, it's one of my treasures. All right, next up is this Innocent World dress. It is, I think it's called Antique Chairs. I have had this one for a while too. I've worn it a ton. Um, this is a great dress for like going antique shopping and stuff. And I think the subject matter of this dress is just so random and hilarious um, and it's educational there's the names of all of these different types of chairs on the print so you get to learn something even though I do love this dress and I've worn it so much I think I'm gonna let this one go just because I have worn it a ton and I think I've gotten my use out of it and I need space in my wardrobe for all the dresses that are coming in the mail. I have this one on Depop. So if you're interested in this dress, check it out. Okay, next one. Again, is Innocent World. It is the Tea Time print. I searched and searched and searched for it for, I wanna say about a year or so. And then, Someone kindly sold it to me for a really good price after I made a ISO search. Not ISO. I oh yeah, it is ISO in search of yeah. It's that's right. Okay, next up is the darkest dress that I own. It is not my usual color palette, but I have found this dress to be really useful in the fall months, specifically October. I like to pull this one out for like Halloween stuff and yeah, just a darker tone kind of look. All right, next up is one of my more recent additions to my wardrobe. This is also from a Chinese brand. I don't remember the name of the brand or the print but it is one of my favorites. I haven't been able to wear it yet because it is the middle of winter. My favorite detail on this dress is at the side seams where they connected a butterfly at the seam, right smack dab in the center. Isn't that fantastic? I love that so much. And yeah, this print has just very Peter Rabbit vibes to it, which I'm all about. And I thought it paired really well with this Peter Rabbit blouse from Summer Fairy. I thought it was just perfect. Okie dokie. 
This next one is also a very recent addition that I haven't been able to wear yet. And I am also doing or planning a video for this dress along with another dress that I'll pull out later. Um, a tutorial on how to fix elastic in skirts at the waist. So this dress uh, I got on clearance from Devil Inspired and I think there's only one of these in stock at that moment and it was a size large. But I've been searching for this print and wanting it so bad and not being able to find it anywhere. So I did it, I bought it, even though it is not my size, but nothing a little sewing can't fix, you know? I love this print so much because of this cat. Look at him. He's so handsome. And all the beautiful canisters of tea in the cabinets. I just love it. It's just, I want my house to look like this <laughs> dress. <laughs> all right, so this is the other dress that I'm gonna do that video on with fixing the elastic. This one, is too small for me, even though it's a size medium. <laughs> Sizing is just so weird, especially with elastic. I bought this skirt because of the colors. It's not my usual color palette, but I just thought it was so beautiful. And it's about Thumbelina. There's, the print has like Thumbelina and there's like mushrooms and flowers and a bird and some fish and it's got pockets so I don't know that was a good skirt to get <laughs> next up is my absolute treasure innocent world Peter Rabbit it is my yeah my most treasured dress that I own because of mr. Peter The most handsome boy. I just feel like I'm wearing art when I wear this dress. And I also love wearing this dress because of all the different colors that you can pull out of it. I've worn it a lot with pulling out the blues, the yellows, the greens. I really want to try orange or something like that sometime. I think that'd be a challenge, but really fun. Alrighty. This one. Oh, it's so lovely. This one is from Miss Point. I believe, yes, and it's beautiful, it's flowy, and it's elegant, and beautiful, <laughs> yeah, I don't have much to say about it, I just really like this dress. You know, I'm really curious to see what the ratio between Japanese brands and Chinese brands of Lolita dresses that I have. I think I'll count them all at the end of this video and compare. And let me know the ratio of your wardrobe because I find that really interesting because I feel like most people have mainly Japanese brands, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe the trends are changing these days. All right. And this one is from Magic of Utopia. I can remember that name for some reason. <laughs> And yeah, it's just a nice, simple, more casual country dress. Yeah, it's a good staple in my wardrobe. Next up is this beautiful piece from Innocent World. It's just a lovely sax blue dress. It reminds me of uh, snow and like snowflake fairies and ice and winter but I have coordinated it in more like a spring summer style too so I feel like this dress is really versatile I feel like all of my innocent world dresses are about the same length so they're all together which is pretty nice this one is another Chinese brand it's just a very cute casual country style I really love this detail back here I think that just adds an extra specialness to it. All right. And this one is Strawberry Plates from Innocent World. 
I got this dress at a swap meet. I've eyed this print for so long and have almost bought it on different occasions, but I finally got it at a swap meet. Um, and I just thought it was so, so beautiful in person. And I love this print because it's so easy to style it in a summer way and also like a winter way because of the red and green. So I've worn this around Christmas time before and it, and it worked. So it's a good year round dress I feel like because I love this dress so much. I got the red colorway <laughs> and I feel like this one is even more Christmassy friendly because it's red. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have this one listed on my Depop at the moment uh, just because I don't feel like I can justify owning the same dress in two prints. I don't know. I'm kind of having second thoughts about selling it. Uh, just because they are different colors and different cuts. So I don't know. Maybe I will keep it, but it's so pretty. Oh man, oh man. Okay, fine. If I don't sell this beige colorway in the next month, then I'll keep it. But if I do sell it, then away it goes. Next up is my one and only Angelic Pretty dress. <laughs> I love this dress so much. I bought it directly from AP USA and it was an experience I never want to repeat, <laughs> but I'm glad I did it because just look at this print. I have a whole video unboxing this dress, so check that out if you want. Whoa, we have three more to go. Oh wait, I have to show you my skirts too. I forgot, I have some skirts. <laughs> All right, and this one I have worn to death. And I love to death. I love this so much for the summer months because of the strawberries. And I love the jars of jam. I think they're just so pretty. And they love the little biscuits and blueberries. It's just so cute. I love it. It's great. And this one, oops, got unzipped. Gotta fix that real quick here. How embarrassing. All right, this one is my only Baby the Starshine Bright dress. It is very fairy y. <laughs> I love it. It's the perfect dress for summer. I just feel magical in it when I wear it. And I also feel like a jellyfish for some reason. <laughs> is that weird? I don't know. Do y'all who wear Lolita dresses feel like a jellyfish when you walk with your petticoat? I do. Let me know if that's a common phenomena or a common experience that you guys have. <laughs> or if I'm just very strange. Last but not least of my dresses is this amazing piece. This one has a fun story behind it. Um, once upon a time, I used to live in Ohio and I went to a meetup at an antique mall with my local community. And one of the girls found this in a rack of vintage clothes. And everyone was like, that looks like an angelic pretty dress, <laughs> but it's not. It's vintage and I'm pretty sure it's handmade, but doesn't it look so much like a Lolita dress? It's made out of vintage fabric. I've seen this, I found this print of fabric on Etsy once, but I wasn't able to purchase it at the time, but I know that the fabric is old. Oh, so yeah, it just, it's so perfect. It's the it was the best find I could have possibly ever dreamed of. 
and I'm the one that bought it because it fit my personal style the most and my size the most so I still had to alter it so I changed the style of this dress just a little bit up here so originally this pink part wrapped all the way around so like these straps were part of this like that yeah <laughs> I have a picture of the original design so I'll put it up on the screen and the straps here were of this white fabric so what I did was I took off those white straps and used those to expand the sides here can you see that so that it would fit me and then I changed that part to that yep <laughs> and now it fits and I love it so, so much. It's so special to me. And yeah, it's wonderful. All right, look at that organization. Ooh, I need to change this hanger. It does not match anything else. Let's fix that for the aesthetic. I think I accidentally stole this hot pink hanger from someone at a swap meet in Portland. So if you're watching this and this is your hanger, I'm very sorry that I took your hanger. I don't know how to give it back to you because I don't live in Portland. So uh, sorry about that. But look at that organization. That's just so pleasing to the eye, isn't it? It's so great. I'm glad I did that. Okay, before you leave, I have some skirts that I feel like I should show you. So here we go. Innocent World, Rabbit Letter. It is not my typical style, but I love it anyway. And it's nice to have something that's not your typical like thing like everything else. You know, you, it's nice to have a standout piece that you can have fun and experiment with. So yeah, I love this. I had to add this layer of pleated ruffleage because I felt like the skirt was too short on me to the lining. So I didn't damage the print or anything. So we're good. Next is Innocent World something or other flowers. I don't remember the name. It's an old print. It's great. It was one of my first Lolita pieces. I've worn it a ton and I will continue to wear it a ton because it's so lovely. All right, next is Baby the Stars Shine Bright. Something, something, something. I love this skirt so much too because of this beautiful green color in the gingham. We love gingham here, the flowers. And it's just so, so cute, so lovely. And yeah, it's great for country Lolita. Okay, last but not least, I have one more skirt to show you. It is not in my wardrobe because I have it displayed on my mannequin. So I will show that to you real quick. All right, and last but not least is this beautiful, innocent world. Berry harvest something, something, something. I love this print so, so, so much. It is so sweet and precious. And I love well, just the foresty feel. Look at this little mouse fella. How can I focus? There we go. Look at him. He's holding a flower on a tree stump. And his tail makes a little heart. And there's little mooshies. And it's just so cute. So, so, so cute. Anyway, this is the coordinate that I have on my mannequin at the moment. It's very winter-esque and very happy with it. All right, so that concludes my Lolita wardrobe tour video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you again. <laughs> um, 
like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye. I'm trying to say sometimes buttons are just the hardest thing ever <sighs> maybe I will keep it okay oh but money and space.